welcome today to Rejoice in Sea with Ty and Betsy Tice. Our podcast today is What About Other Gods? Our Bible reading comes from Acts 17, 22 through 34. Then Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are very religious. For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. Therefore, the one whom you worship without knowing him, I proclaim to you, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life, breath, and all things. And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth, and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings, so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring, Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Truly, these times of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, while others said, We will hear you again on this matter. So Paul departed from among them. However, some men joined him and believed, among them Dionysius, the Areopagite, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. Today's Bible reading tells the well-known story of Paul on Mars Hill in Athens. Instead of arguing with the men of Athens, Paul presented the God he knew intimately, the creator of the universe, as the God that they had labeled as the unknown God. Today's story The following is Pastor Ty's account of the story in his own words. Very early in my ministry, I was ministering one Sunday on John 14, 6. Jesus saith unto them, unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Monday morning, I had an appointment with a woman in her home. After prayer, she turned towards me and asked, Pastor, what about all the people that worship Buddha? Are they going to hell? Spirit of the Lord gave me an unction that this was a ruse and should not be addressed. I responded, Sister, That's not important right now. Jesus wants to save you and come into your heart. Together we prayed, and she accepted Jesus Christ as her Savior and Lord. As I left a woman full of happiness and joy, I proceeded to the church office to begin my day. 
as I waited for my first appointment to arrive, I wondered what might be on her mind. As I inquired of her, she asked, Pastor, what about all the people that worship Buddha? Will they all go to hell? I smiled and as I thought to myself, Satan, you don't even have any new tricks. Using the same response as the Lord had given me for the First Lady, I had the joy of leading my second person to the Lord's salvation that morning. Let me explain something here. You may wonder why both of these women asked about Buddha. At this time, we were pastoring in a mountain valley called Lake County in Northern California. Upon the mountain surrounding us was a temple for the Baha'i faith. On another mountain was a temple for Buddha. And there was a whole bunch of Buddhists there. On the other one was Bubba Free John, which was another one of these self-appointed. Did I know anything about their religions? Very, very little. I knew some because I had spent some time in Japan, so I knew about Buddha and I knew things to do and not to do, but did I really know their religion? No, I didn't. So how could I argue not knowing their religion? The same way with the Baha'i faith, the same way with uh, Baba Frijan. I did not know these religions. What I did know was Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. My appointment, as it was the same with Paul on Mars Hill, was not to argue their religions or to tell them how wrong their religions were. You never do that with a counterfeit object, even with monetary money. You always define what the real one looks like, not what the fake looks like. Verses to ponder, 2 Timothy 2, 14. Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord, not to strive about words to no profit, to the ruin of the hearers. Be diligent to present yourselves, approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And 23 through 26. But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility correcting those who are in opposition. If perhaps God will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth, and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. Lord Jesus, help me to prepare myself daily by prayer and study of the word for my, any people that I might encounter, that I might give them your words of truth uttered in the power of your Holy Spirit that souls might come to know you and find salvation. In the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Dear loved ones, as we close this morning, let me assure you of one thing. I am not saying that you do not declare as you minister to people, what is sin? Sin is universal. It has no religion. Confine yourself to confronting sin, calling for repentance, and then introducing them to the original, introducing them to the 
Creator, who is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And together, you will out-trick the trickster who wants you to get into an argument because he knows in an argument all that that devises is other religions. You take a look at all the re religions, they always came out of something else. Why? Because it was an argument. God doesn't argue. He just presents himself as he did to Moses in the burning bush. And when Moses said, who are you, Lord? And the God of all eternity said, I am that I am. And with that, go in peace as you worship the God who is the I am. God bless you. Time for it.